All right, everyone. Well, um, that was Bryn Michaels. Uh, you can uh, find her at Promqueef on Instagram and um, and on Brazzers.com and on Pornhub and um, on BrynMichaels.com and you know just uh, just make sure to be nice, otherwise I'll come find you. <laughs> um, anyway, so the next guest is one of literally my. There's only one person who I've known longer than I've known Emily Allen, who I'm not related to. Um, Emily and I went to preschool together. Uh, she is a longtime resident of the East Village, lives uh, in <laughs> the same place that she grew up in, which is very rare and exciting. Um, and we've worked on a lot of stuff together, uh, including a capsule for Brujas that was focused on... Um, uh, mental health and hospitalization and systems of control that have to do with uh, psychiatric institutions and um, sort of uh, very, very informed by her experience as a peer educator with um, first a group called the Icarus Project and then with various offshoots of, of that group, uh, which is very dedicated to um, addressing <laughs> the deep-seated problems of mental health institutions and uh, really fr from a grassroots perspective that, that is informed by people who have experienced being uh, forcibly hospitalized and being put on psychiatric drugs. Anyway, she has um, also uh, been a long-time writer and performer. Uh, her two-woman show Slash, written and performed with our good friend Leah Hennessy, ran for four months at MX Gallery and, and was called Fast and Campy and as clever as anything the New York stage has ever s have seen in some time, and that was Vogue, and deemed the ultimate fan fiction play by sci-fi. Um, it was insane. It was super gay and horny. Um, <laughs> Alan's last play with Hennessy was called Star Odyssey, and it was commissioned a commission piece by Momo PS1, uh, which continued their exploration of homoerotic fan fiction. My favorite thing about you guys is that you're like literally the definition of queer baby. <laughs> like, I'm like, wow, I've never seen two like seemingly heterosexual women be so obsessed with gay shit. Uh, and that's saying a lot, which I love. Um, most recently, uh, they also collaborated on another homoerotic <laughs> story <laughs> that was a television pilot, Byron and Shelley Illuminati Detectives, which was developed during their 2019 residency at uh, Kern, CERN in Geneva for the for the biennial. Um, <coughs> so she's she's re actually releasing uh, an EP, and I'm super excited about this piece of work. Um, she is letting me. Uh, read something that I helped or that I contributed to about about the EP. So I'll, I'm just gonna riff on it, and then she's gonna dive into her performance. But um, so the the single off of the album, which is uh, m like a mixtape, uh, the the mixtape is called Clanging, and the song is called Perfect Brain Clanging. Uh, so it's this is sort of a, a little bit of a meditation on the on the music video that's yet to be released. The video sees Emily inside of the 9-11 memorial, half tourist, half day sleeper agent on the verge of activation. She is assaulted by flashes, brainwashing, trauma, fantasies, and seems to grasp at sanity through rhyming, clanging to be exact. The video explains that clanging is an outdated psych psychiatric term used to describe compulsive rhyming, rhyming that is done by someone who is not a poet or could be extrapolated a rapper. The images are not nostalgic or celebratory. They are quite literal. The underlying story here is one of a girl's childhood trauma and the exorcism of it. Running up the West Side Highway, clinging to her classmate's hand as the Twin Towers collapse in the background and the air is filled with smoke. This is her story. From four-hour calls with 9-11 trauma victims, services to inpatient mental health hospitalizations to... Peer mental health circles, Emily puts forward an anti-anti-crazy girl narrative, nightmarish and brash lyricism, indulging TikTok self-diagnosis with the swagger of a golden age electro-crash rock star. Clanging is the blitzkrieg of God-pilled narcissism, unselfconscious psych word fetishism, apocalyptic prophecies, and 9-11 necromancy that we need right now. And uh, my favorite quote about this piece of work comes from Dean Kissick, Spike Art Magazine journalist, saying, I found this content quite disturbing. Here's Emily Allen. Thank you. Um, thank you. 
so much for that. Um, I my favorite quote about the album is from a friend of this show, Trinity, who said it was like a doomsday prophecy you could dance to, or I think she said twerk to. So, and there she is. <laughs> <laughs> I summoned you. Um, yeah, I was thinking about that for when you s were saying twerk, twerk baiting grindcore or something. <laughs> TBG. Okay. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do a few songs. Thank you for having me from my forthcoming album, Clanging, which is a concept album about the uh, obsolete psychiatric symptom clanging uh which is like a word for the state when you're when you're sort of like in an extreme maybe psychotic state and you like haven't slept in a few days and you start rhyming and i first learned about this after my friend was hospitalized and she was like gave me her hospital report um to look at and instead of like m me feeling like concerned or protective or whatever i just saw that like they wrote down that she was running around rhyming and saying like i'm young dumb and full of cum and then they had transcribed all these other rhymes and i felt like jealous of that and then i looked it up and i realized there was like a name for it anyway i'm gonna stop going on about it but the but anyway the concept album is about clanging an obsolete psychiatric symptom referring to uh compulsive rhyming when you're in an extreme state and this song kind of extrapolates on that state and it's called perfect brain so let's see if this works can, can you hear it if, if i play it okay I got a perfect brain, could never go manic on main, could never act clever, uncensored, untethered, ungendered, untreasured, untamed. Cause I got a perfect brain, could never go manic on main, could never act clever enough so they know I remember the way I was trained. You know that I'm ultra MK, you know I was riddled and raped, you know I was trained in a lab to assassinate characters acting in plays. You know I've been there for it all, you know I've seen Tower 2 fall, you know I'm in every disaster in lower Manhattan the one crisis actor recording it all cuz I got a perfect brain she's so crazy my mother she's so crazy my poor mother you know she's so crazy she's so crazy my mother she's so crazy my poor mother you know why she's so crazy uh-huh yeah yeah She's crazy, 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 no, I got a perfect brain, could never go manic on main, could never act clever enough so they know I remember the way I was raised where everybody's been amused for a little while, everybody's been to the pool with a pedophile and accused of being ingracious, if I'm going off I'm going impatient, I'm young, I'm dumb, I'm full of red, red rum. I'm not rapping, I'm clanging. Rhyming is a symptom, quiet is the language. Boom, boom, bang, clang, clang. Rinse and tin, chip, chop, shitty, bang, bang. Pretty with a kitty and a fan bang. Single in the city with a spliffy and a handbag. Stop, rhyming is a symptom, quiet is the language. Freedom is the illness. Stop, rhyming is a symptom, quiet is the language. Freedom is the illness. I'm not rapping, I'm clanging. I tap out the monster tap. Like the alien could never be Australian. Wag the alien, eat chicken on the daily end. My poor mother, you know why she's so crazy? My poor mother, you know why she's so crazy? See what they did to her. My poor mother, what they did to her. My poor mother, my poor mother, that's why she's so crazy. She's crazy, 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 no, I got a perfect brain, could never go manic on main, could never act clever, uncensored, untethered, ungendered, untreasured, untamed, untamed, can't control, I can't control, 
Space, space, twilight, wag the wag the alien, Australian, a chicken, wag the alien, mother, cancer, bang, 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 alien, mother, twilight, alien, cause bang, wag the perfect brain, could never go manic on main, could never act clever enough so they know I remember the way I was trained. such a cool way to perform even though I was like I don't know the fact that there's like five or five to seven five to eight people in here uh, made me really nervous made me shy so I was like kind of closing my eyes but everyone listening at home I can feel your presence too <laughs> and I know this is why you tune into Radio Bonita for this kind of uncut energy okay I'm just gonna do a few more songs. It is it off at 6:20? Is that the deal, or is it a little loose? <laughs> Everyone's fine, right? Everyone's hanging out. Okay, I'm gonna do um, one. This this is a shorter song, and this is a song about wanting so much to be a disembodied sex symbol. Um, and a yearning for it that turns into a religious mania and then questioning whether that uh, religious mania is authentic or just an offshoot of uh, narcissism. Okay, and it's called Driving. <laughs> in a car I would be driving you're on the radio you should be climbing I'm in the desert I'm chasing lightning I'm burning eyes out I'm fucking blinding I'm 17 on the beat and I'm driving I'm 17 on the beat and I'm driving if I was in a car would you love me more if I was in a car would you love me more who's driving like me who's riding like me got in the car who fucked who sucked who's vibing like me i want to be next i want to be next i want to be sex robot in the meat plex i want to be next i want it me next i want to be sex robot in the meat plex next 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 i want to next i want to next i want to next i want to next I want it, 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 I want it next. Let it be me, 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 let it be me. But seriously, if I was in a car, I would be driving. I should be saying something, I could be dying. Why want it me next? Why want it me next? Why want to be next? Robot in the sex, sex, sex. Why want to be next? I want to be next. I want to be sex, 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 sex. If I can't get it, I'll go with God. If I can't burn your eyes, I'll burn with God. God, 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 I want a 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 next, I want a God, I want a next, God, 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 next, yes. Um, thank you so much. I, I appreciate the actually, because I know everyone would hear would be nice. Thank you. Um, well, now that I've won you over, I'm going to do a controversial song. Okay. Okay. It's called Steps to Destruction. Okay, ready? It's a little long, but it's okay. Okay. We meet. There is a mutual attraction. You look like the boys who did not go to my school. We hang out. I make you laugh. You make me laugh. I make you laugh more than you make me laugh. Later you tell me how much you like me. You use the word intimidated. You say maybe we can just be friends. That's how much you like me. I totally agree. In fact, I completely understand. It's totally cool. Unknowingly, you have set off a chain of events over which neither of us have any control. I will take my revenge. I will make you 
fall in love with me, something serpent in me stirs. These are the steps, steps to destruction. I manipulate you into maintaining an intimate relationship with me under the guise of liberated desire and sexual autonomy. We enter a free space of play and association. I tell you that a relationship is simply the erotic thrill of the threat of infidelity. You are impressed by that analysis. I surrender everything to you immediately. My spleen is on your kitchen floor. I let myself become a child. I give myself to you knowing that submission is possession. I fall in love. I let myself fall in love. Slowly you begin to tell me things you have never felt safe telling another human. You have an experience of catharsis. Each piece of information you reveal is meticulously stored and labeled, memorized, weaponized. There are steps, steps of destruction. You are working on a project. I am not working on a project, but I am full of ideas. I present a treasured thought to you as though it were an off-the-cuff insight. You marvel at my brilliance. You marvel at my genius. You drive me to the beach in your car with your hand on my leg and smoke a cigarette out the window step. You love my idea. You become consumed by my idea. You forget that my idea was not your idea. Slowly, I begin to use my stores of your vulnerabilities and insecurities to poison you against your project. I insinuate that it is stupid, sophomoric, out of touch, but always diagonally, with the air of an oblivious ingenue. I goad you into confessing your doubts about the project. I encourage you to keep going on the project. I tell you the project is important. I stroke your hair and bring you a glass of water. It occurs to me that I have not produced any work since we started. It has been many years. But surely I have been working, taking notes, saving up sensations, stringing sentences together for when the time comes. I flip through my notebook. Every single page reads something like NB, demon rape, slash ovarian abduction, I feel pain, question mark, underline, circle, arrow, maybe an opera, Vera and the Nihilist, the musical must start reading again, exclamation point, exclamation point. Okay, step to destruction. Others begin to circle, seeing something new in you, some alien virility, a new magnet, some new moth. You are pushing through the self-loathing. You are getting it done. It is almost time for me to leave you. I cut my hair at an inopportune moment. Now we can't make the movie. Slowly through long nights of torture and testing, I make my case. I have an excellent memory. I memorize every eruption, codify every primal reaction I provoke. I cry. You cry. You are confused. You understand. I have made it impossible for you not to understand. You plead with me, but you know you have lost. I am like a saint, untouchable and full of emptiness. You say you'll die without me. You say you're dead already. You tell me you're going to die. I say I will always love you and maybe someday we can be friends again, remember? Just like you wanted. Just like you always wanted. I am full of love and aching with heartbreak. Something serpent in me smile. You will make a mediocre work of art. It's going. I will make no work of art at all. Our mutual destruction is only the first twist. The second twist is that through my destruction, I am reborn, more powerful and more beautiful than before. I have an infinite capacity for resurrection. You do not. You had one shot to fall in love and live forever, and you did not throw your spleen on the kitchen floor, so you will be haunted. You will join an ashram or start a family. You will make something bad. I will make nothing. I will do this over and over again. It will never stop working. If it does stop working, I will have a child, and my child will do it for me. I will make nothing. I will make nothing. Steps to destruction. I will make nothing. Steps to destruction. Well, that was Steps to Destruction, my controversial song.
Um, I'll do one more. I'll do one more for this one, if that's okay. One more. Wow, this is such a great crowd. You guys can't see it, but everyone, maybe you can, I guess, since you're doing live streams. You guys can see just how beautiful e each and every person in here truly is. And um, I appreciate that it's a small space, so it would be sort of hard to, like, be mean and to boo me, but you're all really making me believe that you're enjoying being here. And that's really nice. And I'm just going to do one more. And uh, okay, so I will I'm just going to say that all of these songs are from my forthcoming album, Clanging. It's a concept album about the obsolete psychiatric symptom, Clanging. And most of them aren't out yet, but I do have one song out on Spotify, and it's called Perfect Brain. And it's under my name, Emily Allen. And it's Allen, A L L A N. And all my friends say that I should come up with a new name for doing music since it's such a generic name which I sort of agree with, but I also think that if your name is Emily Allen, you should sort of like carry that at, as an albatross and it, you know work against the boringness of it and sort of accept it and use it. Um, and I'm just gonna do one more song to close out. And this song is about sexual and romantic insecurity. And it's about feeling so bad about yourself that you have to work yourself up into a uh, narcissistic mania just to feel okay. It's a Cabaret Voltaire sample that my producer EJ made. What would you do if I asked you to stand on your head and just let all the fluid drip down from your toes? What would you lose if you just joined my religion as one of my militants? Because what would you lose? All of your losses, what could you gain? Baby, who knows? All those heavy crosses you carry all could be buried under the fold. You're scared to make shows when I get in the ring. I'm more clever than you. Your max is around when I run where I'm better than you. Sweetie, caught in the cult of the deity. Don't lump me in with the tedious. Got manna that can feed the needy. You're in, but you can't be greedy. I'm... Everyone's wife, everyone's love of everyone's life, everyone's someday, everyone's sight, everyone's one day, maybe she might. I could be better if she just let her guard down just for the night. When you flirt at the foot of the goddess, you're making a promise, refusing the fight, cause I'm not just anybody. I fuck with everybody. I could get anybody. I might fuck everybody to death just to get them to shut the fuck up Cause I'm mad I can't stand on they sound when they talk I can stupid suck when they know and they knock me and boot it and fucking polluted and fucking and zoot it and sucked if it sounds like a duck Huh, everyone's scared to be sucked Everyone's carefully cucked Everyone's fucked Everyone's scared and stuck Everyone barely got up when I came out the muck And started singing from a stinging from my manoir I got turned out and taken down at Russian Samovar I called out John, 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 John and entered Camelot He told me dips at dips Dips at dip cause he likes Camelot He wants to walk me like Susanna He's a camel thot. He wants to smoke it to the bus down like a ziggurat I need a 6'2 Billy Club kid with a scimitar Who wanna t to I when I get my hands on draws I'm everyone's wife Everyone's love of everyone's life Everyone's someday, everyone's sight Everyone's one day, maybe she might I could be better if you just let her guard down Just for the night When you flirt at the foot of the goddess You're making a promise of fate in the fight Cause I'm not just anybody I'm one with everybody I could heal anybody I might fuck everybody to death just to get them to shut the fuck up And that's on my mother, my brother, my aunt and my father, my cousin My neighborhood haunts and my neighbor's ex cousin the floor And fall to all of my friends who are soon to be recently gone Yeah, I'm not scared of you sluts Everyone's stupid and sucks Everyone's sus Everyone's giving uncut Everyone's trading untucked Everyone's nuts Everyone literally sucks Everyone's literally drunk Everyone's there to get sunk and dunked on Everyone's fair to get fucked and funked on Cause I'm coming to your house and I remember where you live I'm right outside your window, I'm just waiting for your gift. You remember last September when I purchased a seat for your show? Now I'm here, I got my ticket. You're gonna give me the thing that you owe when I say that I'm leaving. You said that maybe I could send you a line when I go. I said, baby, when I start skiing, you'll be one of the first 10 to know. Even 
take from my spree. I'll still be saving the ones from the slopes. You stay here, stay on my knees. All that I need is to know that you know I'm everyone's life, everyone's love, everyone's life, everyone's someday, everyone's sight, everyone's one day. Maybe she might. I could be better if she just let her guard down just for the night. When you flirt at the foot of the goddess, you end the night. I'm a wonderful wife. And then I usually just sing my grocery list. Eggs and arugula, milk and bread and cheese and some fruit and nuts, seaweed, spinach, yams and potato, miso, kimchi, cans of tomato. Anyway, thank you, Ripley, my good friend, and everyone else. Let me do a little set. It's very vulnerable and fun. And yeah, and check out Perfect Brain on Spotify and the um Yes, you must, 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 like, stream it, like, 30 times a day.